Warning, graphic pest control video ahead. Do not watch if you might be offended. If, however, you really like watching pest control videos, then hello again and welcome to the Squirrel Hunter channel. Please continue and watch us as we control pest populations with silenced air rifles here in the UK. If you have any questions, can you please check the description below first to see if it's already been answered and for some useful links. Thank you. I'm out today, one of our favourite permissions. I'm out with Bro, who will be on the camera only, not shooting. I will be shooting my Theobin Rapid, as you can see in the picture. I've added some annotations. If you need to know any more, I suggest you pause the video to have a read, rather than me reading it all out. I get plenty of questions on what equipment I'm using. The night vision equipment on it is a homemade one. I had a go at making one before I got the one leaf. You can see it there from the side, that red glow on the screen is a bit of acetate to cut the glow back on my face. I should be using the JSP Exact 0 0.20 Diablos, the heavy variety. They do a good job on squirrels when you launch them at FAC rated, and that's UK rules. The first squirrel of the day, but it was filmed in climbing the tree. I'm going to use my camera just for static shots and the scope cam, and Bro will be panning around trying to track them. Try and get some different angles for you. There's a J. We're not bothering to shoot these in pretty much any of our locations. We haven't done for quite a while, unless there's a specific reason. And the owner has mandated us to do so. There's no reason to do so here, so we got left alone. Wasn't in a great spot to shoot it anyway. We come after these, and that's our primary target. This one's a sit up nice, textbook munching away. And even though Bro's got his camera on him, I'm just getting my rifle ready and deliver a nice headshot. Drop him to the ground. And that's per usual, I'll direct you all. So look at the links in the description to Ted's video explaining why they kick after a good headshot and why I'm not really worried if they do kick, especially when they kick like that, it's indicative of a good headshot. Here's my camera's view. I'll mix and match it a bit. What I've done with mine is I've overlaid the scope cam on it, as you'll see in a second, when it pops back up because it turns out round just like that it's easier to include it you can see what I was seeing when I was doing the shot just took my time there to make sure I was all steady I'm going to shoot over to the next one and as you can tell by this bro forgot to press record never mind A you know what's coming, so we have to rely on my bit of video. This is what actually happened. Completely the scope cam. This is a work in progress at the time. I haven't got it focused perfectly. But it seems to work well enough. I'd like it a lot clearer than that. A lot better focused, a lot sharper. It's all about messing about with the set points. You can see the body stopper doing its job. I'm going to chase it in the bank now. See if I've killed it or not. It's one of the main routes for a lot of squirrels. The aerial route as we call it. Very often we'll see them coming from the other side. Or maybe they're coming down the hedgerow down the path. Some days you get an awful lot of them come across the ground. I'll let this one play out in its entirety. And all the other ones I'll speed up at appropriate points. I was reasonably pleased with the initial testing of this unit I made. The only problem I had with it is by the time I had all the batteries, cables, etc, etc, it was quite heavy. Lugging it about was a bit of a problem. So 
So once I got the one leaf, cut down my weight by quite a substantial amount. There you go. That was a clean miss. Quick reload. Thought I must have wobbled at the time. No problem with that shot though. Did all my zero checks at the beginning, everything was fine. I just figured I'd probably wobbled or something. I'll scroll up the tree somewhere. Glad you can get that last bit. I thought I'd include it. This is the same shot you see a minute ago where I missed. There we go, on the top. We'll see now with the scope cam if I wobbled or not. I'm pretty sure that was steady. We'll dissect it in a minute. Look pretty pretty steady. There's the second shot, the one that worked. No problem there. That's the beauty of filming. Have a little look. These are the still frames from the video all across the shot and the crosshairs pretty much stay on his head the whole time I haven't moved at all have I and neither has he that's just after the shot so I'm pretty sure it was a dodgy pellet by the look of it It's nice to know I didn't wobble. I didn't get caught out by the head movement. Maybe I had a bent skirt or something, I don't know. There's two on the tree now. As I promised you before, I'll start speeding them up now. Awful lot of messing about with these squirrels. Is our first victim. Good impact there, straight in the top of the head. It's a well worn path now. what I was watching. I was tracking the squirrel. What that inside start off with. You see the camera's not moving because I'm looking at the top of the scope at this point, working out which one to go for. Pick a lightly one and follow it. And wait for it to pause or even feed. I did quite a bit of that, tracking. There's no head movement that prompts me to take the shot. And these are all moving their heads all the time. There we go. This'll do. See another squirrel in the distance there. Every so often you catch sight to an approaching. Definitely see him. Much preferred places where I can see the squirrels as they approach rather than just have them pop up. And he's finally got here. I assume it's the same one. shot there.
So you've had a chew at the felt on the top of that roof. And you put it on there to try and make it a little more waterproof. The moment they bit through the felt, found the metal armour in underneath. Here we go. Puff of hairs, and down to the ground he goes. This is the second squirrel, pretty much followed at the same time as the last one. Looks quite a young one, one of this year's young, should you imagine. Eventually find its way onto the shelf of death. Too quick for bro then. Put the shot off before he could get it fully framed. It's any problem when you have to zoom in for a real good close up. There it is. My view of the proceedings. Both the squirrels. So that was back to me. See the other squirrel on the left hand side coming in. See I was tracking that one from the right before I noticed the one on the left. There we go. Down. Spread it up again now until the other one appears. There he is. He went and hung out around the back of the tree. There is a branch there. I have seen them before now on a remote camera hiding around the back. We tried one with the cable attached. It's going to sit on the back of it. There we go. Bouncing them in quite a bit. Pretty indicative of small animals, they seem to jump much more than adults for some reason. I don't know whether it's down to their nervous system. But it's just as dead as the adults. Bro can't quite get it over the left hand side properly. Presented a nice steady shot. If you pretty much follow that methodology, you'll pretty much get success just about every single time. All the margins for error are reduced to the absolute bare minimum. If you set your rifle it properly, and you're patient enough to wait for him to sit. Go into a feeding pattern. The more you do it, the more you'll see it's the best way forward. My view. Shot so many of these now. I know when it doesn't go right, it doesn't make me happy at all. So most of what we do has been born 
from years of experience we know where we failed we've removed those variables from our shooting still get the odd failure but it's quite rare so it's blurry from bro I can see it perfectly clearly I've got it back of the neck base of the skull the FAC air rifles could pants gone straight through as you can see here it pretty much would do the same thing with a legal limit one as well a great success with that shot when they get presented to me I normally take them you can come and stuck sometimes when they really do hunch forward in a feeding pattern and if you don't get the position where you can see at least the back of their neck then I don't take the shot. Sometimes they hunch forward and you just see shoulders. It's not much good. I'll probably right with the FAC through the maybe spine. When you're pretty sure they're going to sit around and feed at some point. I'd rather wait for them to do that, to be honest. Camera autofocus wasn't playing ball there really well. I can tell you it's a body shot that one, as you'll see in a minute. I'm quite nervous of the ones on the ground. See if I can focus it. I'll show you the point of aim. Pretty much on its shoulder there. Dead as a doornail in the road, I went straight to retrieve it. Good clean kill. Just took that one on the ground, went still enough. Body stoppers doing their job again. Drops down onto a road by about six feet the other side. You can see the shot placement there. And if they kick over that edge and down on the bank, never know if you killed them, would you? Much prefer to have them in front of me. Saves me from the hide. If we ever do leave the hide for any reason, we'll always pick up the dead bodies. Once you've broken cover, makes more sense to do it. They can always smell the other squirrels that have been there before, but if they can't see them, they don't get worried by it. Playing peekaboo with that one. The camera's gone to black and white for some reason. The light levels must have dropped a bit, maybe a bit of cloud. I think it auto does that, the board. There we go. Went for a headshot because that's all that was available. the last victim of the day. He has a good grace to come and sit on the feeder. A good sniff. Reading the newspaper. That'll do. Looks like it was one grain a week that. Bit of a weird one that, but it was dead. Very suspicious when it didn't kick quite violently. It does happen. See the shot placement there, right in the thick part of the head. Pets on the back, crossing the brain. Maybe you can catch the spine depending if you catch it at a shallower angle. And there they all are. Not a bad day's out in. And not a bad first test of my homebrew night vision stroke scope cam. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please like, subscribe and share. Thank you.